Opening round scheduled for 10. What's the worst kind of situation you can get yourself into when you're fighting a guy who you know has superior hands? You start thinking too much, Joe. You start second-guessing yourself. You start being a little hesitant. And now they're opening up. Both right hands land. It's okay. Pay him back. Big George with a power punch. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Wow! Huge right hand gets to him. He's floored. One, two, three. Reaches the count of 10, a first round knockout. <laughs> round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. See Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Mike Tyson's turning into a star in this sport. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see. What should we expect to see of that power early on? Well, whether or not he's fighting a tricky guy tonight, can he come up with a device, a way to take that power and get it to the target? Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not able to land the headshot. And now he scores well with a straight right. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Nice combo by Mike Tyson. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, thank you. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Mike Tyson. Oh! He goes down. Now he's got to beat the count of ten. Tyson's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. What a great job. He gave one right. Hot. Mike Tyson's got to be so careful here, Teddy. He was knocked down in the last round, and you know his opponent's going to be gunning for him here at the start of this round. But this is where you walk a tightrope, so to speak, because if he's too careful, as you alluded to, guess what? His opponent walks in, and the fight's going to get stopped. So, yeah, he's got to be smart, but he's also got to pitch something at his opponent, chuck something at his opponent to keep him off a little bit, too. Good combination punching by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Now he ties up there. Oh, a good right hand by Andre Bishop. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good block. Bishop landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. 
Tyson's making me question how his legs are right now. I'm not sure that he's all too secure and steady on those legs after that knockdown, just like he's tying up a lot. Yeah, well, you don't have to wonder. You're saying you're not so sure he's secure. Well, he's telling you. You know, he's right there. That's about as honest of a fight as ever going to be is what he's punching. He's telling you, I don't feel too good. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Tyson trying to survive. Wow! Tyson goes down. Once again, Tyson goes down. But will he get up again? up from the knockdown but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight as we start a new round i pose this question to you is there any hope for him he's look, been knocked down numerous times today. look there's been great comebacks in this sport there's always hope you don't know how deep a man's reserve is inside their soul inside their mind but dangerous grounds now to find out accurate shot straight right hand comes in andre bishop's putting forth a great combination there this is just beautiful to watch watch how he just links one to the next teddy a beautiful sequence almost like musical notes being played well exactly it's a nice tool because it just follows one as you said follows the other nice and smooth Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand. Solid. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. with a sharp left hand. pulling the trigger with the straight left and that's what fighters do pulls the trigger right away after taking one Isaac Cross not just loading up he's landing combination punches like he did right there Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Isaac Frost's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Isaac Frost able to land a good, solid left hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter. Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, you gotta love Isaac Cross there landing the uppercut. That was something. Isaac Cross done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand.
Left to the body. Didn't get it done going to the body there. He's starting to gain some momentum here, especially if he can keep connecting with the left hand like that. Isaac Frost is so good with that left. Isaac Frost doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Good combination punching by Isaac Frost there. The big man can put his punches together. Body shot, the left hand. Blocks the head shot. the body. Another stunning shot by Isaac Frost, this time the left hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. Frost defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Nice combination, landing more than one, both were able to score. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Isaac Frost landing a left hand again here. That a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything. Because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. right back with the left hand keeping his hands up getting way of his opponent's effort Isaac Frost putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there landing a crisp combination Isaac Frost defense did a good job there able to avoid that punch comes right back at him with a left hand Frost showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good right hand. And now he scores. Wow! Well, you knew his opponent could track, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about... that time it was intended to the head he missed by a mile that wasn't even close by joe frazier huge left hand from smoking joe good work defensively by andre bishop plus he landed that counter punch yeah and he forced him to punch he made him he drew it out of him and then he times him beautiful he missed, oh that uppercut got him badly oh a big shot comes home for him he just fought the other guy's fight and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. Two, three, four, four five, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, get to your feet. So Joe Frazier goes down and now rises to his feet. And now he has to make sure that he kills some time. Gets in close where he can smother his opponent. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. There you go. If you're the inside fighter, what do you have to think about in terms of putting forth your style of fighting? Well, you better find a good ride to get to that house. That house is on the inside, and you better make sure you're not getting caught while you're coming in. Move your head on the way in, bring your feet, and once you get inside, make sure you do what you got there to do. Nowhere close that punch by Andre Bishop. 
That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Final 10 seconds. Frazier's got to rely on his corner now to do what it takes to get him back physically and mentally. It's always a challenge when you hit the ground. You see the defensive guard of Joe Frazier there. He just missed that shot up top. He got hit. Joe Frazier reminds me of one of those cartoons right now with birdies flying around. And bang and away he goes. And Logan Joe rise up and continue on. judges he's a knockout victim everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up now they do as round one is underway <laughs> George Foreman is the personification of a power punch. He is power punching. His opponent says, I can match power with power. But he can't match power on both sides of the plate the way Foreman can. He can get you out with the right hand and the left hand. George Foreman blocks that punch. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Halfway through this round here. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He defensively sound. Good job on the two punch combo by Andre Bishop. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by George Foreman. He just missed that shot up top. Ten clicks of the talk. Here we go. Round two is underway. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Cover up, cover up. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by George Foreman. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Looking good. <laughs> Halfway through this round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Go! 
He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Nice strike after catching one by George Foreman. Good job protecting himself. Andre Bishop smashed by a hook. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by George Foreman. Biggs on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. There he goes with the right hand again. And round number three is underway. A well-placed left hand up top. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one-two. Boom, boom. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Bishop's committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Well, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything, and he finds something coming back at him. Wow, look at that. He comes back with a power punch after taking one himself. What a great display by George Foreman. Big George Foreman, originally from Marshall, Texas, where as a youth, Teddy, he was involved in a lot of street fights. I mean, he had a reputation as the kind of guy that he didn't mess with out in the back. You know, we've had a lot of fighters that have come out that route. Boxing has stayed, has turned a lot of young men who were in trouble on the streets, turned them into not only world champions, but, you know, world champions as people, people that could serve society. Foreman is one of those young men. Keep working the body. That straight right, unable to connect. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. And now another left. Scoring with the right hand by George Foreman. That'll get the fans out of their seats. What a shot by George Foreman. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Bishop's in control so far, two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy, though. Yeah, he has been the busier guy. And also, he's been a better real estate agent. You know, location, location, location. He's been in the right position for his style. He's been in tight. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Work the body. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Good job with the old one-two by Andre Bishop. There's a straight right hand. Halfway through round number four. There's the combo to the body. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Hits him in the mug with the right. Bishop's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Well targeted two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Goes up top with a right hand. Right to the belt line. 
Scores well to the head with the right hand. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Andre Bishop's a brawler, right, Teddy? Yeah, exactly. Is that the style that you think is going to carry him through? Because it's working out so far. Yeah, if he can keep it going this way, you know, he's going to be happy. He wants to keep his opponent in this kind of mindset. Right now, he's got his opponent angry. I know that sounds funny, but he wants to keep him angry because he's not thinking. He's fighting his fight. Well-placed counterpunch by Andre Bishop. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Come on, get A solid uppercut by Andre Bishop. Halfway into round number five here. Bishop's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Good plus shot by Andre Bishop. Nice work, the left hand to the head. The combination punching now scoring well by Andre Bishop. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. That's a big striking blow to the head by George Foreman. Good combination on the one-two by Andre Bishop. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Foreman's showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. George Foreman's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. And we are underway with the second half of this fight. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. Oh, good-looking two-punch combination by Andre Bishop. Blocking a score. Oh! One shot and count, Kenny. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. Foreman's night has ended early here.